Am I the asshole? For leaving a B-Day party because of a racist translation request. Going to try to keep this short and sweet. I'm still getting text messages and it's making me more upset to read them. I went to a birthday party for Annie, my sister F34. I am 36 and my wife F36 went as we were able to get the her parents to watch the boy R16 Mo son. It was a normal adult birthday party as she has no kids. She had some of her friends over and our parents. I'm white and all of my family are all white important for the story. My wife is Chinese, was born in China, and became a citizen when her and her family moved to the US when she was 16. She's 100 a US citizen, no green card, and she and all of her family speak Mandarin. My wife can speak English very well but her family, mostly elders, don't speak a lick of it. I've been learning Mandarin as it's my wife's cultural language, it's cool AF, and I want the boy and future children to be able to speak both of our languages. It's been about two and a half years and I'm not very conversational yet, but I pick up on a lot of things, can understand the basic gist of most conversations, and I can speak basic sentences like, is the food hot? Or the boy's diaper has been changed? Etc. I've also learning how to read and write Mandarin. Mostly reading right now as I find it helps me learn better, and I sometimes drop cool sentences into the family chat on Facebook. Annie doesn't speak very much in it but will post Fox articles, usually articles about China that are very critical of the government. I'm not sure if she's racist against Chinese people. She's never said anything negative to my wife in any way. So last night, we're at the dinner table when Annie hands me a slip of paper. I ask what this is as I unwrap it. It says, Tiananmen Square 1989, and I look up at her and she has this dumb grin on her face. I ask her what this is and she goes, can you translate that into Mandarin? This is where people seem to think I'm the asshole I got really freaking mad. I immediately started yelling, called her a racist, and said we were leaving. My mom and dad got mad, Annie said I was being dramatic, and her friends all of whom are also white didn't see what the big deal was. I basically told everybody off using very big adult words before leaving. My phone started blowing up with text messages saying, you're not even Chinese what the hell and you ruined her birthday party. I briefly spoke to my mom this morning where I tried to explain why what she did was racist, targeted towards me and my family, and is unacceptable behavior. I told my mom that I won't be going to the house anymore if she's there and that she needs help. My mom softly echoed what my sister all these text messages, I'm not sure anymore if I overreacted. My wife was unaffected by the whole thing but understands why I'd be upset. I don't I the asshole for reacting this way? I think some people in this thread are missing the point. It's not that it's racist to discuss Tiananmen Square. It was her writing just that on a piece of paper, and asking you to translate it with a grin on her face. She was stirring shit. She was being obnoxious and targeting either your wife, or you for your Chinese wife. Or both. Not the asshole. Assholery doesn't get a birthday pass. Not the asshole and you did not overreact. Annie is playing racist games, and doing it with the shit-eating who me? Grin of so many racist dipshits. Unless your wife is secretly a member of the Chinese government, it is absurd to think that writing that down and giving it to you for translation into Mandarin is anything other than a provocation. Good for you for telling her off, you set an acceptable boundary and she will at least think twice about subversively insulting your wife and family. Not the asshole. What the fuck was even her point in giving you that paper and asking you to speak it out loud? Did she think your wife, whose family had a reason to leave their country and come to the USA, would be slighted by it? This isn't even a microaggression, this is a macroaggression, and I applaud you for standing by your wife and future children they will have to face this same ignorance from your family when they get older. Info your wife speaks English. What excuse did you sister offer for you needing to translate at all? You may not be Chinese but your child is. 
You need to protect your child from the blatant racism of your family, not the asshole. I don't understand why people can't see that his sister is picking on his wife in a way that is racist. Not the asshole your sister is. Not the asshole. You're not even Chinese. Fun fact, decent people are disgusted with bigotry regardless of whether they belong to the group being discriminated against. Hard not the asshole. Your sister is very clearly upset that you married someone of Chinese descent. Posting Fox News articles about China is not a normal thing to do in a family chat. I wouldn't back down on this at all. Not the asshole. Racial profiling someone with an insult? That is low. I have crossed paths with several new Canadians recently. Notably from Afghanistan, Ukraine, Israel. The cab driver, on Saturday, was a young Arab Israeli fellow, fresh to Canada. When he told me this I was dumbfounded. What kind of things has he seen and put up with? I would never make smirky jokes about what these people had to endure. Not the asshole who in their right mind brings something like this does something like this at any birthday party, let alone their own. Your sister knew what she was doing, using her own party as an excuse to ramp up behavior that she absolutely knows is inappropriate, and now gets to play the victim because she was just asking innocent questions. Not the asshole. Are you sure Annie is in her thirties? What a childish dig to try to make to insult your choice to learn Mandarin and your wife's heritage. You, my friend, are a human. You are rightly upset at this insult to not just your wife and her culture but to your own choice and judgment. Say to all the naysayers, if it's not a big deal, why didn't she ask my wife to translate the note? Who was she going to quote this tragic date and locate to? Just do yourself a favor and go low contact. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, your sister is racist. Maybe hand her something that references America's past sins like the eugenics movement of the 1900s, the origin of the word moron, or even the fact that the entire country is full of the descendants of invaders. I'm black. Please do not gaslight yourself. You know exactly what's up bro. Not the asshole, stand your ground. The thing to remember is to always remain calm and dignified while making it clear that you do not appreciate the content or intent otherwise you will be be the one everyone makes out to be the wild and unreasonable savage. Just say that's not cool and fucking calmly pack up and dip. If they love you which I'm sure they do they will be forced to recognize what they are doing isn't okay. MLK level shit peaceful non cooperation. Not the asshole. Good on you for defending your wife. Standing up to family isn't always easy. Your sister sounds like a dick. I'm going with not the asshole. It absolutely was a racist gesture and racists should be called out when they do racist things, but she did it in such a way to make you look like the whole here even though you're not. That's what a lot of racists do they bait people into their bullshit. Next time avoid the bait, get up and simply say I'm not putting up with your racist bullshit Annie and just leave.